Hi, this is Fortune Buchholz, and I'm back uh, here today with a quick unboxing of Robert Place's long-delayed Red Feather commercial version of his famous Buddha Tarot. Uh, this was first announced about three years ago, but due to the various factors that we all know about, it has taken a very long time to actually arrive into the hands of most consumers, including myself. So uh, this is a beautiful and very famous deck. It's very unique. Uh, let's go ahead and get to it. The box is just really gorgeous. Of course, Red Feather has a, uh, a history of doing very high quality cards. And of course, all of their decks are always completely legitimate and authorized. Robert worked very hard on this edition. So uh, don't feel any hesitation in buying this. The printing quality of the box is just gorgeous. I don't know if you can see the um, overprinting here that uh, the little Buddhist symbols here on the edge of the card in white overprinting. It's really very nice. The quality of the color is spectacular. Magnetic edge. I love boxes with a magnetic edge. Look at this beautiful guidebook. It is bigger. It's an expanded version. As you can see, it's full color with full color of all of the cards. And it talks a little bit about the life of Buddha the Buddhist background, and of course, it has a long piece, a uh, very interesting and useful piece on the history of tarot. It has a full dictionary uh, in the back, in case you're not familiar with some of the uh, Buddhist terms. And of course, he has a few spreads. So um, this is really a gorgeous book. You'll find it super informative. Now, let's look at the cards themselves. Look at how large they are. They're larger than my hand. You'll love that. They're made of medium quality, good card stock. No gilding on the edges. You can see Robert has maintained a border. He loves borders and you can see how he's moved the uh, names of the cards to the sides to allow more room for the overall images. You can see the different suits that are involved here. Lotuses, for example, Dorhe's, all of these are Tibetan-oriented uh, Buddhist uh, symbols, though of course any form of Buddhism will be familiar with these uh, symbols. So the idea behind this beautiful deck that Robert made is that the Buddha goes on a hero's journey. And so that when you look at the story of the Buddha, uh, you can, and the Buddhist mythology, you will see it reflecting the same themes that you would expect in any hero's journey or fool's journey to enlightenment. And in this way, it is similar to uh, his other decks, which always emphasize uh, a kind of soul progression or consciousness evolution. This is just a beautiful deck. I love the box. I highly recommend it. You'll find the book is incredible. And... I urge you to get it as soon as possible, even if you're not interested in Buddhism per se, just for the quality of the art, just for the information that is in the book. Um, and of course, if you're a fan of Robert Place, then it's a must have.